Carlin mentioned the business about the Republican National Committee and the rules. Um, in previous cycles, uh, Democrats have tended to allocate delegates by proportional representation, which they think is the only fair way to do things, and which makes a certain sense for a party that historically has been made up of disparate groups of so white Southerners and Northern Catholics from big cities who will get along fine as long as they never have to encounter each other. Uh, and you give them proportionate representation to keep the balance in your party. Republicans have tended to allocate delegates by winner-take-all rules, and that makes a certain historical sense in terms of the party. The Republican is always party. Its core group has typically been people that consider themselves and are considered by others to be in some sense regular Americans, northern Protestants, married people, whatever, um, who by themselves are never a majority of the population. Uh, in this di always diverse country, but uh, nonetheless, uh, that, and so, you know, the idea is whoever comes out in first place, they go ahead. Well, the RNC changed this in an attempt to avoid front loaning of the counter, of the calendar, uh, and in, it insists on proportional representation for delegates chosen be in contest before April the 1st. Um, that's really uh, going to make it much more difficult for any candidate to cinch the nomination uh, early. Um, in 2008, John McCain, on Super, after Super Tuesday, February 5th, had approximate lead in delegates of about 500 to 200 over Mitt Romney. Uh, if you went through the exercise of, of, of reallocating the delegates, adding 3 percent to the popular vote for uh, uh, Romney and subtracting 3 percent from the popular vote for McCain in each of the contests and then trying to follow the delegate allocation rules, you would have had, by my estimate, Romney ahead by about 380 to 360, uh, totally different race. Uh, why? Because McCain, winner take all favored McCain. In California, which voted on Super Tuesday, McCain carried 48 of the 53 congressional districts and won all the delegates from those 48 districts, even though the race was this close in a dozen or more districts and proportional representation would have given him a very small edge in that delegation. Nobody's going to be able to do that before April 1st. Um, and I think that means, in practice, uh, Mitt Romney's currently trailing in three of the four, uh, in trailing Newt Gingrich in the polls in three of the four January contests in the Iowa caucuses, South Carolina primary, and Florida primary. He's leading in New Hampshire, uh, and uh, that lead um, seems to be genuine. It's in there in the polls. And uh, I think that, you know, looking at the national polls and then the various state polls, Gingrich seems to be leading more in the South than in the other reasons, regions, reflected particularly in the South Carolina result, uh, leading less in the North. And what's interesting here is that um, Republicans will have winner-take-all contests in the April elections, and those include states like uh, Maryland, uh, Connecticut, Delaware, New York, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, California, New Jersey, and probably Ohio, where they haven't quite settled on a date yet. Um, those are all states which intuitively sound more like Romney states than, than like Gingrich states, if the national polling remains at current levels and gives Romney, the ho who, who also has enough money to stay in, um, you know, a plausible excuse for continuing to run saying, hey, I'm going to make up lost ground in the post-April 1st things. 